How's it going my little monsters welcome back to my channel if you are new make sure you hit that subscribe button I would truly appreciate it I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today so since it is officially October I decided to post a video of my Halloween mansion so get ready because this mansion that I built has a maze has a witch's cavern a vampire like mansion house I'm just so excited to show you guys this and I I decided to do this at nighttime. So I have my trick or treat sign right here. And I just have like this creepy doorway leading up to the main house. Then I have a sign, beware killer dog Spike. And Spike is our ghost dog. And I will show you that one of these graves has, there it is, RIP Spike. He is the ghost dog that haunts this mansion area. And this right here is the witch's place. Now this is where she goes to practice all her magic. And everything just looks so much spookier at nighttime. Like I am here for it. I love it. I love the Halloween season. This one is my haunted forest maze. At the end of this maze, there is a hidden room. Um, I want to show you guys what is inside the maze throughout, but I think I'm going to save it for last. I just want to show you guys the rest of the main house before it turns nighttime because everything truly does look better at night in my opinion. But let's continue this tour throughout the rest of the house, shall we? Alright, so I am going to be answering some of y'all's fan questions about my haunted mansion. A lot of you guys already have seen it in person. Um, so I'm just going to answer some of the questions that you guys asked me. So that way everyone on YouTube knows. Um, first question is, how long did it take me to make this entire mansion glitch build? Um, guys, this took me about maybe a week and a half, two weeks. I want to say a week and a half. And then when it was towards the two week mark, I was just adding like more trees, more decoration. So it wasn't looking so empty. The second question is, how do I make glitch builds? How do I do my houses, my castles, everything like this? So. Uh, I don't really know how to explain it in words, but if you want, I will go ahead and upload a video on how I glitch build. I'll probably like show you guys how I do like um, maybe like a castle or maybe something Christmassy since Christmas is coming up. I'll probably do like a little speed build on that. Okay, so the next question I have is, can you build for me or can you make me a mansion like this? I don't mind helping you guys build, but to make something like this takes a lot of time and a lot of money. Again, I don't mind helping you guys. I can even show you some of my build hacks, but to do it all by myself, um, yeah, we're gonna have to talk about that. <laughs> I don't mind helping but I don't know how I feel about building it all by myself <laughs> all right last question before we get into the maze um, how much money did this take for you to build I think um, I had to use a lot of Robux to build <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you guys because I put in a lot of work with taking care of the pets but it just wasn't enough so I just went ahead and used Robux and I think money wise um, like you know adopt me money wise it cost me about maybe 70,000 maybe more so yeah <laughs> okay and let's get started with the maze I already know my way around it but I just want to show you guys what I have in each corner um, what's so cool about this maze is as you can see right here is I actually made a few spots in the maze where you can actually fall off like the planet like <laughs> the whole map and you have to teleport back to your house so it's kind of funny because I did put signs ahead of the maze saying, will you make it or will you die trying, literally. So I just thought that was pretty funny. 
but um it's only two parts of the maze where you can fall through the maps like that everything else is just little decorations like this little writings on the wall um, we're getting closer to the witch's cavern see there's another place just uh there's a lot of people who actually fall for this one they actually fall through it thinking that that's where the uh the secret room is but secret room is over here i kind of made it obvious by putting like the do not enter turn around but this is the secret room and i just congratulate on anyone who's made it through without dying <laughs> but this is the witch's cavern or witch's den whichever you want to call it um this is where she practices more of her magic and i have a little area oh, i got pizza over there i have a little area for her too she has her own bedroom as you can see and I love this room. I just think it's so cool. And the little potion thing. Oh, God. I want to buy more of those potions. But they cost so much money. But it is a goal. I'm going to add more potions to this. But, yeah. That is the maze. Honestly, the maze is probably my favorite part of my mansion. I just love the reactions I get from it when people actually do try to succeed through the maze. It's not as big as I want it to be, so who knows? Maybe in the future I'll make it bigger. But hey, I really hope you guys love this tour. Again, um, I don't. I want to do more builds like this, and I'm gonna show you guys soon how to glitch build, just so you can make mansions like this, like how I do. But until then, make sure you're on the lookout for more of my future builds. I really hope you love this video, little monsters. Please give it a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you tell your mom, make sure you tell your dad, make sure you tell your friends, everybody. Subscribe to Jasmine Builds because I will be posting more videos on more building hacks and more building tours and anything else you request. So I hope everyone has an amazing day and happy early Halloween. Please remember to always be kind to one another and I love you. Bye!